often see uh, on our socials is uh, when we start the Phantom Liberty, you know, the level, the story was, you know, into in, in the base game, so. Yeah, yeah, okay, so um, you can, uh, basically it's after the, the Bridget, or first off, no spoilers on Phantom <laughs> Liberty, but it's very difficult to answer that question without spoiling a little bit of the base game. But the Voodoo Boys, uh, Bridget, uh, uh, portion of the storyline, after you finish that is when this quest essentially unlocks. Now, as a player coming to the game for the first time, or even when you're coming back, if you want to skip ahead in character creation, there's a way to skip ahead to that moment and immediately jump into the, the Phantom Liberty action. Um, and of course, if you have characters that are already, or saves that are already past that, immediately Songbird's going to reach out to you when you get into the game. And then if you happen to have saves that are before finishing that portion of it, then there will be uh, in your journal telling you what you need to do to get to that point. Um, but we have it integrated into the game such that you can be doing the Dogtown experience, that storyline, and the base game storyline and back and forth because it's all somewhat related. Okay, and what if someone already finished the game? So if you finish the game, obviously your save will be before that um, uh, point of no return point. And then yes, Songbird will hit you up and say, right. I got something for you. Um, and then you can go from there. Right, we already received a call from, from Somi. Uh, she told us to go to the Dogtown uh, gates. Uh, can we actually maybe tell a bit more about Songbird herself? Who is she, what she's doing there? Sure, so... Um, uh, she's on a plane right now with uh, President Rosalind Myers. Uh, Dogtown is a district that uh, there was a, a war there, that there was the front, and after the war, one of the colonels took uh, control of it and had a falling out with the new United States, uh, Kurt. And Kurt has hijacked, basically, control of the plane, this is what Songbird's telling you, and needs your help. There's no way that it can communicate with anyone except to you through the relic. So you are the, the sort of lifeline, their last resort to try to help uh, uh, intercept what's gonna go on there. And you decide whether or not you want to answer the call. Uh, and of course, she says like, listen, I'm connecting to you through the relic. I know about the bomb ticking your head and I'm a badass net runner. I can solve this for you as long as you can solve this for me. And that is the, the deal. And you gotta decide whether or not you wanna jump in. So this is V's motivation, right? This is V's motivation at the beginning, yes. And we trust her. I, that's for <laughs> players to find out. All right. Do you trust her? You can't ask me such things. Casper, <laughs> do you trust her? I think I'm on game this week. You guys have to play it and figure it out for yourself. But yes. it's a very intriguing story. Uh, all right. I know she's uh, also giving us the new relic tree. Um, can we maybe talk about uh, the, the new relic? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but right here, right here, this is, uh, a, this yes. is, a, this is quite a scene. She's showing you how badass she is. No, fuck off. Let's, let's wait, wait a beat, because I'm not sure. Has, has this been revealed yet? This no, hasn't been seen this, yet, is the right? first, this is the first time first it's time. been seen. Yeah, like, if it's about me, I wouldn't trust her. So she's, so she's, <laughs> she's suppressing because having both yeah. her and Johnny on the relic at the same time is causing an issue with like mm. seizures with you there. And so she's like, listen, I'm going to suppress him for now, but it's for everyone's safety. He's still there, as I think you can see in some of the dialogue there. Um, what was your question? I'm sorry, I went on that tangent because I wanted <laughs> no, to highlight no, no. Like, that. We so can, you know, we can deal. still talk she's about that. She's the real deal. Uh, well, you know, she's a, you know, a netrunner for the Just president, right? So she needs to be a top, badass, top right? Top netrunner for the new United States, yeah. Uh, but yeah, coming back to the, to the relic, right? We got a relic from her. Maybe we want to actually get players to get to that point watching this gameplay. Yeah, they're going to see that here in a moment. So basically, in addition to communicating through the relic and being able to suppress Johnny there, she is able to basically utilize, enhance it, and says, listen, I'm going to unlock some potential of this relic in your head, and this is going to unlock the skill tree, which I guess they're going to see in a moment there. Mm -hmm. And is this when I talk about what the skill tree does? Or... In a moment. Okay, let's, okay, sorry. Let's watch it. Yeah to minimize losses, save some folks. That's where you I guess Johnny is not happy to be suppressed by Songbird like that. I mean, I wouldn't. You'll find out how Johnny feels a little bit later in the story. <laughs> Dogtail not so sure. You'll need to get her out of the plane before anyone else does. Nothing's for free, Songbird. We should talk biz. Just got a taste of my abilities, I believe. There's more. I can cure you. Once and for all. 
Can't know how much I'd really love to believe you, but... I know, V. You've hit a dead end. Nowhere to turn. Been there. Believe me. Consider this, uh... An advance. Your relics crowded with clusters of corrupted data. I'm done with that. We can yeah. Yeah. yeah, now we can, we can jump to the relic. Uh, so yeah, we got the new relic tree. How, how does it work? So the relic tree essentially enhances uh, various different cyberware. That's kind of the theme of it. Um, and the way that you're able to, she, she helps you unlock some of it, this skill tree opens up, but the way you're able to unlock more potential of it, basically get the points that you can spend for more stuff, is by finding Militech data terminals throughout da Dogtown. Because again, uh, Dogtown is the, the former um, uh, combat zone where the battle between Arasaka and uh, Militech in the United States. Um, so there's some leftover uh, data terminals there that help you unlock more and more of this. And the theme, there's a bunch of different type of abilities uh, to unlock for different cyberware. I'm, I'm sorry, did... No, no. Keep going, keep going. Okay, okay, okay. Um, one, for example, is basically being able to not only enhance your own cyberware, but find vulnerabilities in other people's cyberware. So as you crossfire, but as long as you keep pressing that attack, you can survive. And there's various different ways to mitigate uh, stuff. And then, of course, if there's a sniper in the distance, you can pick up a body and throw it at them. So we give the kit, the full kit, to deal with all the different dynamics in a different way, right? To really just feel different. Um, and crap, there was one there that I just, oh, yeah, yeah. The, the, um, so what kind of pairs pretty well with the body tree, which I think they showed there a little bit, is on one of the sides of the tech tree, you can unlock the ability to go even uh, higher with your cyberware. So there's a cyberware limit. Um, and then in the tech tree, if you get the right perks, you can kind of push past that limit. However, if you push past that limit, you're at risk of getting into what we call, it's the edge, edge runner perk, by the way, is the name of one of them, of course, right? Okay. But we, um, you can get into a fury mode where essentially you're overloading and you're starting to receive like damage. You have, uh, you, you know, your health max is lower and that kind of stuff. But it pairs really well with this build because you can keep getting adrenaline and, and regaining your and health, health, right? Yeah. So it's one that just happens to, I mean, I, I can't wait to see all the different uh, builds that the players find and how they mix and match. This is just one way to mix and match like body and tech and kind of uh, has that fantasy fulfillment. And I have a lot of fun playing that one myself. <laughs> Oh, and of course, how can I how can I miss? So another way you can close gaps is you can charge, and then you knock people back like you know uh, bowling pins, um, and that's a good one for closing gaps. And if you get certain perks, you can. I'm talking too fast, aren't I? No, no, no. no. I'm talking too fast. It's okay. I get, I get. I get <laughs> you get excited. Yeah, yeah. There it goes. Now that was that was like a gratuitous throw there, that, which is fun to do, of course, as well. But you feel really satisfied if you see an enemy in the distance and you and you throw and you arc it just right and bam, you splat them. It's so much fun. Uh, so you actually touched already uh, the edge runner perk, but uh, well, I would like us to clarify that player is not getting cyber psychosis, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, no, I saw there was some, uh, so pushing the limit and getting into the fury state, you're not ever gonna like lose control of your character and start shooting civilians and stuff like that. Like it's like that, that's not like, but if you do, you know, uh, get to the point where you start on your own agency creating mayhem, definitely the police, which we'll talk about later, will start labeling you as a cyber psycho because essentially you're in, you have the agency and you are behaving that way. So you can but you don't play. lose control of your character. <laughs> yes, you can role play it. And you can push that right. in. What that can way. you tell us about Dogtown? How does it fit into Night City in general? How is it different? Uh, so, one of the first questions we asked we're trying to design Dogtown was exactly that. Whether, how we can make it different yet feel like it's connected yeah. to the same um, city itself, environment. And, um, of course, we had the back backstory about the Dogtown being before uh, this this dream of very luxury, very rich place on Earth that you can go and have fun and do crazy other things. Yet it never come true because the war happened, right? And mm -hmm. people, Militech and other companies, oh, corporations actually, just pulled off uh, out there and just and just everything stayed there. All the damaged buildings, even all the hardware that we're helping to build those buildings, is there. Um, and for us as, as artists and, and storytellers, it gave us a lot of tools to create those stories. Meaning, for example, Night City, it's not very, I would say, um, safe place, yet it is a city of dreams, right? So we try to make the contrast there. We're here, it's the total dystopian world, right? So uh, we had the tools of 
showing this decaying world and, and how it goes, how it's being literally uh, consumed by time, yet people are trying to survive there. Um, and that gave us a lot of opportunities because Dogtown itself, as you know, it's part of Pacifica. Um, it, it's, it's, it's the part that um, uh, before was closed off because of the whole building structures. Right now it's opened and um, we had this, those tools. By those tools, I mean, we had this idea of making this very dystopian world and we used um, the, the, the tools like, sorry, I'm trying to make a proper sentence here, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no the, the tools like, um, because for me as an artist, we had the opportunity to make this use uh, of sand and decaying world. And this made the whole thing consistent, right? Uh, however, yet every single part of the district is a little bit different. We have parts of the district where we're heavily inspired by Las Vegas and we have casinos there. And uh, here, some of them are still open. You can have fun, ha fun there. Uh, some of them are closed. Uh, we have parts where you can explore some old uh, spas and hotels, which are very um, decaying, let's say, overgrown even. Uh, we have a part where uh, you can see, which is a glimpse of hope with, uh, we call it containerism, uh, our internal call, uh, name, let's say. But you can see that people are trying to survive there and they're trying to build like a, uh, like a hope for themselves in this really hopeless place. So we're trying to build this contrast there. And there are a few flavors that I want to talk about right now. I would want you to explore this, but uh, we really try to make, um, even if this, let's say, very characteristic district itself, still some flavors to it and different flavors. And I think it's going to be very, very, very much fun for everyone to explore and find those flavors and see the different um, um, environments for people to, to try to uh, survive there. Because it's not a pretty and safe place to survive and live in. So if this is such a da dangerous place, who gets to live there? Who decides, oh, I'm going to move to Dogtown? <laughs> I, I don't think it's like anyone woke up one morning and said, I want to change something in my life and then go, go there living because that's probably not the best uh, place to go. However, uh, there's a lot of different uh, social layers, I would say, in, in, in Dogtown. We can start with all the people that are trying to escape from uh, from law, meaning uh, NCPD, and trying to hide there. Maybe even conduct business, which is probably illegal there, but you can do crazy shit in, in Dogtown because why not? Um, there, of course, are people that maybe got drawn there because other reasons. There are people that are just living there uh, because maybe they were pushed away by, you know, life is life. In Night City, you have to be yeah, able to survive. The, the kind of political situation there is very different than Night City. Like the Precisely, NCP, yeah. The NCPD is not there. As we said, it was the site of the war, and he was a colonel in the war against the Arasaka, so corpos aren't allowed there. So as, as Casper was saying, it's a place that uh, okay, some people okay. want to or need to flee to. So it creates quite an eclectic mix and group, and so it's also a place where things that are illegal in Night Army? City um, can be done there. Um, and so it all adds to the texture and the story yes. potential wow. and the side quests and stuff Imagine like that that we have there as you explore. It also gives us the opportunity to build contrast, because we always try to find contrast between yeah. layers, visual layers and you social layers. And here it's a very a lot of layers on top of each other creating those contrasts. So I think it's very cool. And we hope at the very beginning when you see that the big gate and, and you know, Somi's trying to get you past that gate into there, that we give you uh, that feeling. You, you hear on the megaphones, and I'm not so sure if the audio radio. played there for them, but you hear mm -hmm. on the megaphones where Kurt is saying, like, you know, no NCPD, we'll no corpos, so on and so forth allowed too. there. And you even have scenes where NCPD is trying to get in and yeah. the bar guest, his militia is like, back. Prepared. Wait, am I allowed yeah, to okay. curse? Yes. Am I allowed to curse? I don't know. One per stream. Back, <laughs> back the F up. Back the, no, okay. Anyways, yeah, so, um, it, it, yeah, it just gave so much potential. And I think the other thing that we, we had a lot of fun with, and as Casper was saying, was just that sort of um, that feeling of like oppression. Like, you know, it's like even in the in the zone where, you know, people are, you know, they've got stands and they've got some commerce and they've got a life there. There's still those bar gas soldiers that are walking through, just making sure everyone's in order. So you feel that. And of course, the closer you get to the Black Sapphire, to his tower, the, the more it's sort of like in, in a military encampment. I would still so add, add to that what you said is that because you maybe made feel like Kurtz's people bar guests are there to protect you. It's not entirely the case. No, they're trying yeah, to protect yeah, themselves. Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But they're trying to maybe just make sure that they're okay, but they don't care about you. Okay, right? but let's let's uh, right, yeah, yeah. circle back yeah, a little bit. Bad. Okay, bar guest and Kurt. 
who are they? Because Pacifica, we yeah, always yeah. we always uh, thought it's like voodoo boys mostly. That's their term. Sure. But Dogtown is controlled by Barghest, and the leader of Barghest is Kurt. Right? Yeah, I, I think we have to uh, make sure that it's all clear. Um, Dogtown itself still being part of Pacifica in terms of the map, like geography, yeah. uh, what's the word here? Geography, yeah. yeah thank yeah. you so much. Uh, but it's like, as an as a entity, it's a separate thing, right? Mm -hmm. You have to go there. It's almost like a Vatican in Rome. Uh, if it's a good uh, <laughs> <laughs> example, maybe not. But you know what I mean, like as you have to... As far as borders go, yes, but otherwise... That, 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 that's what I meant. Yeah. <laughs> I meant by the borders. But yeah, so when you're going there, um, uh, it, it's a different world. And it's run by Kurt, right? Um, and the Kurt is a ex-Special Force military guy from Militech. Uh, and after the war, uh, he starts his own army, basically. And all the people, I mean people, um, all the army men, army people, uh, join him that also couldn't find their place in the world after the war. And he basically creates his own kingdom, let's say, even, mm -hmm. right? He runs this place and uh, whatever he wants, he gets, he gets it. Um, and what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> I got no, carried no, no, away no, no, because he started talking about Barghest without okay, so explaining yeah. who they are. So, so his so army, his militia. Right, so I see we have uh, this new car. I believe it's a, it's a new one, if I remember correctly, from, from the gameplay. And it shoots, so it has to be a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So what, do can I we, just can, start can from we, the top? Can we talk about, you know, you know why can we shoot? Because from it's the awesome, car. <laughs> that's why we can shoot. Uh, and right now there, we've got uh, some mounted guns that it's shooting from. And if you go into, so yeah, so uh, vehicles, um, all of them you can, you know, use your pistols, your SMGs and shoot from it. Um, the vehicles, some vehicles have uh, mounted turrets, of which we're demonstrating there. Uh, and then some vehicles uh, have uh, missile rounds as well. Um, so as far as the, the vehicle combat goes, those are your options with that. Oh, and there's hacking. You can hack as well from the vehicle and into other vehicles. Um, so does that look? And man, you know, <laughs> kudos to who recorded this in first person. Driving in yeah, first person. Is really <laughs> awesome. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so, and should I jump into the police system? Yes, because I think we just made them a bit angry. Yeah, in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh, with vehicle combat, I should actually back up for a second. So on the bikes, you can also use melee weapons, which oh, is a cool. lot of fun. And then um, you can precision shot the gas tanks, um, which is different on different vehicles as they're different made. So it's one of those fun things that, um, you know, as you get really good at this, you can really pull off some cool stunts. Um, and you can hit tires with the katana blade. You can shoot tires. Um, yeah, and so then the police system, as you know, you get into trouble, one reason or another, uh, you start to gain heat. And when the police show up, at first they're just like, okay, where did the where did the action happen? Where did the crime happen? Or where did we get called for whatever reason and whatever you know kind of quest or whatever? And I try not to spoil things, but. When they uh, uh, show up at the scene, if you're still at the scene, then of course you get in the combat, but you might want to go. But if you start to really crank up the heat, then they'll send more people at you. And they have tactics, they try to run you off the road, they try to t-ball. It's so much fun when you're going full speed and suddenly, BAM! It's like, we got those moments, it's really cool. So, and, then, and then if you really crank up the heat, they start to bring out their own uh, weaponized vehicles. And then of course we're seeing here, Max. and you crank it out even more, now you got MaxTech uh, that oh, yeah. shows Five up. Oh yeah, five stars. Yeah, yeah. And when MaxTech shows up, so if you're in a vehicle and MaxTech's trying to get you, you'll see on the screen they're trying to hack your vehicle to you know, stop you. And then if your vehicle gets hacked, then they show up in an AV, or if you're on foot already, and four MaxTech come out. There's five different archetypes, and it's a random four of the five different archetypes that come out uh, to fight you. And one of the things is like, as, as those of you who know you've played, um, there's difficulty modes, right? Um, and you put on lower difficulty modes, guys are actually easier. However, with max tech, nope. So nope. they just have like nope. one minimum, level hard. Minimum is hard. <laughs> minimum is hard and there's a minimum level as well. So there is no story mode for max tech. So the moral uh, <laughs> is don't do crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because the thing is, is you don't get to this level unless you want. You really mm -hmm. got to push for this level, right, to, to get it here. And so if you're engaging in that, we want to make sure that MaxTech is, is an encounter. Um, yeah, so 
What should I go into? I mean, I could talk forever about I this mean, stuff. I mean, There's I, just I so much. I don't know. I was playing and, and I was randomly just driving and try, was trying to get rid of the police. And the more I tried get, uh, getting rid of them, the more of them yeah. were showing up. So I actually reached Max like this way because yeah, I just wanted them to leave me alone. <laughs> yeah, I just actually wanted to ask, like, what's the, you know, the search loop for the police? Like, can you just like, you know, I know you can run away from them, mm -hmm. but you have to just run and run and run because <laughs> I manage that. But um, is it difficult or, you know, at some point they just, okay, so there's nobody there, let's, let's drop the search. Yeah, so as far as, um, you know, one, two, three stars, you, you maneuver away. Um, it's, you know, I mean, we, we try to strike the balance of the realism, but also the agency of being like, I'm mm -hmm. trying to get out of this. And I'm not sure what's shown in this video, but we show you like we expand the radar, we show the circles, and we like to internally we call it the Pac-Man game, um, <laughs> because like if you've got like two, three, even four stars to some extent, um, you know you'll see little circles of their 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 cone of visions or whatever, and you can navigate in the roads and avoid them and that kind of thing or whatnot. Um, and then of course if you get on foot, it's a little bit easier to to lose them. So mm -hmm. it should be familiar with uh, with that that kind okay. of right there. And then, of course, if you go into uh, quest areas and there's a quest you want to pursue, we tone it down appropriately for the, for the quest as well. Okay. Um, also, I, I don't know if, uh, if we can see that here, um, but I remember when I was playing and I had police on my ass. I actually had that the gang members. Yes, that's my one. <laughs> um, I had the actually gang members, you know, helping me to fight the police. Is that the case as well, like for most of the gangs? So I was yeah, just lucky. Well, I mean, um, and I've, I've talked about this in other interviews, but one of the important points is that it's the player is an agent that does stuff and it affects the world, but we also have other agents in the world, and we've also done a, a number of different enhancements on that front. You might see like two gangs just like chase each other. You might see cops chasing some gangsters or whatever. It has nothing to do with you. It's happening in the world. The world's alive. Now, you can interfere, and particularly going back to Dogtown, if you see like a caravan doing a weapons transport or whatever, or you, there's an airdrop or whatever, and, 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 and Kurt's militia's coming to pick it up, you can intercept, and maybe there's some cool loot to be found there or whatnot. But it's the same thing here. Like, if you're into it with the police and there's something else going on with the gang, yeah, it's, it could be a mix. So they can help out, or not. If you play it, if you play it right, yeah. <laughs> you gotta be careful where your bullets fly. Okay. <laughs> uh, I actually also wanted to go back to, to the heat system, because, you know, we have the stars, but can we actually explain how you can get the stars? Like, so if I, you know, you know, shoot someone randomly on the street, do I get already one star? stars or do I actually have to run through like a bunch of people to get like three stars? Well so if you commit any crime you get a star. Like that any crime. Okay. You know, if you if you run someone over, if you you know shoot someone intentionally you get you get a you get a star. Now, especially when you get into um, uh, Dogtown, but also in some other situations, you might get um, some stars based on quest situations, like things that, that are happening. Um, and yeah. how do you I mean it's I mean, there's a formula and it's a great in. So I can't say exactly like, okay, if you kill three people, it's, it's okay. oh, oh, an important point. It varies by district and neighborhood okay. and funding, right? Because we wanted, because I mean, part of the cyberpunk world, Night City and the story, it's socioeconomic. So they care a bit more than others. I mean, always one person, you run, it's a star, it's a crime, but how far do they escalate? Do they send in the big guns? Do they send in max tech? It really depends on the funding in the district. And you also hear different, uh, um, the police uh, have different comments about wh what district and how much they care, what they're gonna do and that kind of stuff. Can we maybe tell a bit more about Dogtown police? Like, and sure. will NCPD you go there? Um, I mean, it's Vargas, so yeah, yeah I mean, police it's, it's, is not allowed there, right? The thing yeah. is that there's no NCPD, right? The, the Vargas are there. And we said like, they're trying to keep the district safe, but they're not that much uh, trying to protect you. But still, if you're going to shoot them, they will try to shoot you back. And the same system goes, the more you shoot Vargas, the more you shoot people, the more stars uh, they will have. They have uh, different units, they yeah, have different vehicles. Can, can, can we talk what's going to happen over five stars in the lockdown? Or? Well, it's a little bit of a spoiler. Oh, I mean, okay. it's, I mean, you already answered this. It's I mean, spoiler, it's, it's fine. Yeah, okay, fine. No, never mind. Any anyway, rate, yeah, there's different <laughs> units, but uh, yeah. Um, okay. But, but I mean, no, in Dogtown, yeah, MaxTech will show up because if there's someone that's at that level and it's cyber psychosis, like, you know, because you're causing that much mayhem, that's essentially what it is. Again, player agency wise, it's not like we take over your, your character and then you're doing a cyber psychosis thing. 
then yes, Max Sack will show up in, in Dogtown, but otherwise it is the Bargas militia. All right. Can we defeat oh. Max Tech? I know Sebastian oh. is already someone's killing great, them. Someone's been doing great jobs to surviving for such a long time with Max Tech. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he was trying to show how badass he is. I get it, I get it. <laughs> um, but no, the, um, and the other thing to note is in uh, Badlands, it's Militech. Militech is out there All right. uh, in the Badlands as far as the units go with the heat system. All right, so I think we covered most of the police, uh, police feature. If you guys have any questions, uh, please drop them on our forums and Discord so uh, we will try to clarify anything that's unclear or, you know, if you want to know more uh, during the next stream as well. With maybe the same guess or maybe oh, we also actually, We actually have a cool question from our Twitch chat. So we can run from the police, we can fight with the police, but can we bribe them? No. Took a second there. Sorry, yeah, I was just watching. I was watching. I wanted to see what he did. He did quick, which was really fun because yeah, yeah, when you yeah. do the slam, it does physics on vehicles, and you but, get it gets nice. But that's props for him for yeah, really yeah. surviving such a long time. Yeah, yeah. Max All right, what's the what's the next question? Uh, okay, we uh, <laughs> so so we have a question in general about Phantom Liberty. Does the story take us out of Dogtown at all? Yeah, yeah, a bit. Yeah, but yeah, exactly. Yeah, it does. Well, it so, does. so, 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 so the we're not gonna spoil. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, the, yeah. so yeah, there are parts that you're gonna explore new places in Night City itself, but the majority of the thing is is That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> I think that's enough for right. for people to know. Right. Uh, and another one: Will Dogtown be accessible outside of Phantom Liberty? Uh, so no. To be able to uh, have the full experience of Dogtown, you have to uh, get Phantom Liberty. However, for people that don't get Phantom Liberty, uh, you're going to be able to see Phantom Li Liberty, uh, sorry, Dogtown, Dog <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, from, uh, from, let's say, from perspective of someone that cannot get in there. So you're going to see the mm -hmm. whole thing, you're going to see the gates, you're going to see people standing, trying to get there, uh, but you will not be able to get because you don't have the access okay. to it. So you will see the, uh, yes. the gate. Exactly. You'll see the gate, you will see Horizon, the Vista itself, it's mm -hmm. there, but you will not be able, be able to get in. No, I love it. I love it. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, he's trying to like they're shooting past him with the with the mounted weapons, and he's trying to out, out maneuver. This is this is fun. And he's got the you see the bar there, the hack. They're trying to hack, and they disabled his car now. And he's trying to run from the uh, from with the my favorite thing. weapon here. Yeah, Look at that. The bat. All right. What's the next one? What's the next question? Oh, you like the questions? <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I don't know what's the next part in the script. Yeah. <laughs> like, where do we go? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna go. Uh, if you want to talk a little bit bit more about the car combat, this is perfect place as well. Well, I can just talk about this from the perspective of the player. Okay. Right, which is um, when I remember you, you told me at some point like we're gonna get there. I was like, okay, fine, but I never. <laughs> I had no idea how fun it's gonna be, you know, because it's really really fun. And uh, from one point of view, being fun is that it also gives so much more. A fun factor the whole thing right you can just take your car and even you know grab havoc over night city itself mm -hmm. and uh, that combined with police system trying to you know uh, get away from them fight them it's really awesome gameplay loop and i really have fun so much with it so um i'm just trying to say that this is just awesome it's one of the best features i i, I feel like we're introducing here from my perspective of course right? Right on. A, yeah no i mean i yeah that's the goal is to try to give uh, i mean and i've said this in other interviews but uh the city is beautiful Right, oh. like in the, in the dark future kind of way, of course. But yes, it's beautiful and it feels so alive, and we wanted to just breathe more life into yep. it. And the way to do that is with kind of systems that that, that complement and manage and meet expectations rather. Um, are we going to talk about vehicle uh, gigs or vehicle cars? Yes, we have, oh, we have another oh, sorry. For game I, yes. play later on, so we can. I'm famous for going out of order. <laughs> yeah, because it always connects very well to this yeah, endless, yeah. almost yes. endless yes. gameplay yes. gameplay loop, yeah, which yeah. is so much fun um, from both. Lockdown and Night City. We lost all the stars, and I. I think we, we're gonna we be managed. safe right now. Yeah. Like he killed everyone. He killed the whole max deck. <laughs> Almost like they're still like you know. The whole NPC NCPD is dead. But yeah, yeah I guess we can we can go to the uh, to the vehicle gigs. Okay, so what we're gonna show you in a second uh, is our brand new type of missions. So we're gonna have vehicle gigs which, as Kasper already mentioned, are very well connected with the police system and the uh, car combat because you basically start getting chased, so it's very easy to kill someone and then police gets into it and you know, so on and so on. So let's start with the next part of the gameplay. 
and here we find a car and we will in a second get a call from uh, Muammar Reyes, El Capitan, the, <laughs> <laughs> the fixer that you know from the base game. Uh, and there is one thing that we wanted to clarify, it's not Mama Wallace that is going to be selling you guys the cars and dealing with all those, all those missions, it's Muammar Reyes. <laughs> yeah, oh. I, I don't think Mama Wallace would be able to sell the car. She can actually sell you a drink if you, if you ask her nicely, but not necessarily a car. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> cheers. Uh, all right, so what can you tell us about this uh, quest? Yeah, so, okay, so in Dogtown, um, you'll get this kind of new uh, activity unlocked. Uh, vehicle gigs or vehicle contracts. Uh, Miramar reaches out and he's like, hey, you're in Dogtown. You can help me out with something and uh, pick up this vehicle. And then, and this is the introductory quest to it, I believe that we're playing right here. Um, when you get there, he's gonna be like, listen, I've got a bunch of different targets throughout Night City and Dogtown. Um, if you can help me with this, then, um, you know, you'll be compensated. And the, one of the ways he compensates you is by unlocking new types of vehicles, including missile launchers. This is how oh. you get the missile launchers unlocked, is through Miramar. Um, and, there's, and there's, of course, as, as we like to do at CD Projekt Red, there's a story surrounding this. And it is- And for me, that was, it was insanely surprised when I first time played it, and it was just proper story to it. Yeah. It was yeah, awesome, yeah, you know, yeah. it's, it's, it's just such, it's just fun, it's really fun. So yeah, and, you know, and it has to do with uh, Rancho, like his hometown and that kind of stuff. And um, I don't want to spoil anything, but one of the key features of this is that um, it is you like you just see it, like right, like you'll see on your map. It's like oh, here's one of the targets. Here's one of the targets, and it's dynamic. It's and the objectives are dynamic, and the enemies that come at you are dynamic. And it could be different gangs. It could mm -hmm. be Tiger Claws. It could be Voodoo Boys. It can be whoever. And um, some of the activities are, are uh, actually hacking another vehicle and getting it. So you've got to like, you know, ghost a vehicle and be sneaky stealth, right? Some are just all out combat. Some are about like, you got to get to a place in time. So it's a very, and, and it's different locations. It's all like, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I hesitate to use this, like, dynamic. I keep using it, but it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it is yeah, dynamic it's, it's all over, it's all over the place. Um, but again, you unlock it in Dogtown with Phantom Liberty. Um, but you'll see it throughout Night City at that point. But it and won't Dogtown. be in the base game. It's just the Phantom Liberty. This is, this is, this is okay. one of the things in Phantom okay. Liberty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you mentioned that uh, we can actually unlock some uh, mount, uh, cars with weapons, vehicles with weapons through that quest. But mm -hmm. we had people asking us whether they can actually add weapons onto the cars that they already have. N no, it's preset. Though okay. there are some vehicles in the base game that you already like purchased or you already mm -hmm. got and we did add weapons oh, to okay. it because it was like, you know, kind of supposed to be that. So, yeah, there's some of that. Okay, that cool. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you, you mentioned that you can also do the hacking during uh, car combat. Yeah. Uh, do you have to be a net runner to do that? You, ha you have to be a net runner. Um, well, I mean, you know, we've got this open class system, right? Yeah, so you yeah. can be a hybridized net runner. You can be a smidge of a net runner. You just need right? some uh, but, cyber deck. You need a cyber deck and you need a perk to unlock mm -hmm. it. But the better of a net runner you are, the more different hacks on vehicles you unlock. Oh. Um, and so you can hack the actual vehicles, but you can also hack passengers inside of vehicles. Oh, okay. And when you hack the vehicle, some of the vehicle hacks that we have is like, and this is a fun one in, in chases, is to make them lose control of their car and like yeah. spear, you know, steer off and, nice. and crash or even force brakes. And of course, one of the really powerful ones are uh, to detonate. You can detonate the car on them. Um, and then probably the most fun one is you can remote control a vehicle. So, oh, yeah, really? By hacking. <laughs> yeah. So you can you can remote control a vehicle you're hacking. I got to remember to always to look at the red camera. Yes. Sorry, guys, I'm not so great at that. <laughs> but yeah, you can uh, you can remote um, control it. You know a sandbox of combat, if you will, decide if you want to drive it into people and, you know, into enemies, not people, enemies. Um, yeah. All right, that's, that's like super cool. Okay, so we are dropping by the car uh, to El Capitan. Yeah. Uh, and that's how the story ends, but we're also not going to show you everything. And if you guys uh, drop have a tail, so if the police is chasing you or the gangs are chasing you, 
you need to lose them. So you won't be able to give back the, the car to El Capitan by then. Give it to me straight, Cap. Yeah, and try to not destroy the car, you know, <laughs> as much as you can, because, you know, he will probably comment on that. Like, why are you bringing yeah. me this ruin? Why, you know, we had a deal. We you want to earn more, yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, cool, guys. So uh, we can we can start uh, finish watching this gameplay. But this is actually the last gameplay part of this stream that we have prepared today. I know that this is not all of the topics that have been mentioned in the in the new ways to play trailer. We're gonna get back to that in the in our next stream soon. Uh, but let's sum up. We we told you about the revamped perks. You actually could see the, the, the all of the trees that uh, that we reworked there. Less perks, but they are more impactful right now. Am I correct? Uh, yeah, I would say overall, but there is just so many more like actual actions, mm -hmm. perks. So many more like things to do now, like, it, like a crazy amount more. Okay, yeah. and this is coming with update 2.0, right? It's, it is. Yes. It's not 2. only Phantom Liberty. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great. Is this where we talk about that part? Yes, yes, we can. Uh, that, yeah, we summarize everything and we tell people what is coming in the update and what is coming in the expansion. All right, yeah. So the so the perk overhaul, um, all the new ways to play, um, the new.